This is a Kirk trailer hitch made in USA, USA, USA. Uh, let's open it up and see what's in the box. This fits the Subaru Impreza. Gratata. Or the Saab 92X, which is what I'm going to be putting it on, but it's basically the same car. This one was a little over a hundred bucks. It comes packaged in this nice box. I bought a trailer hitch from somebody else and they just shipped it with a sticker on it and it got all beat up. So Kurt does a good job of packaging it up. The thing weighs right around 20 pounds and it only comes with one bolt. That bolt is made to hang your muffler from. Your muffler is going to have to hang from the bracket because the muffler is so giant and it gets in the way of the trailer hitch. So they've designed a muffler hanger into the trailer hitch and I'll show you how it all works. There's no bolts supplied for the ends of it, but the bolts are already in your car holding onto little connecty uh, hooky bracket things that you can use to tow the car. So you just remove those and add this. All right, this one's rated to pull a 2,000 pound trailer with a 200 pound maximum tongue weight. All right, let's look at the car before installation. There's our big fat muffler. So it's gonna actually go up above the muffler and the muffler's gonna hang from it. So currently, the muffler's hanging from this bracket and the trailer hitch is gonna replace that bracket. All right, we're on the passenger side. I've removed this bolt, this bolt, and then there's a bolt in the middle here that holds this hook on. So once I take that final third bolt out, it's gonna drop out. All right, driver's side, we need to remove the exhaust hanger bolt here and then a second exhaust hanger bolt up in here and then this tie down hook here has a bolt here and here that needs to be removed and also these two bolts one and two that hold the tie down hook on and then this bolt that the muffler hangs from which is going to be replaced by a bolt that comes with the bumper trailer hitch kit. And you're going to want to remove the exhaust hanger bolt first. If you remove this bolt first then it's going to try to twist and shake on you. So remove the bolt that's actually holding onto the rubber thing first. And there's an exhaust hanger on the other side so your muffler isn't going to fall down once you take it out. All right, and then that piece just comes out like that. And then you've got your mounting holes exposed. If you live in a rusty climate this might be a lot harder to do and you have to make sure that your bolts haven't rusted in place. This car has been kept in a hermetically sealed uh, jar for 10 years, so it is perfect and easy to take apart. And you can see here's your muffler hanger. Make sure that the metal insert is still in it. And you can see that the muffler is hanging down still by its other hanger, so there's no danger of it falling down on you. All right, now this is the hard part, but I was able to kind of slide it in here over the top of the pipe, and I'm holding it with my legs. Unfortunately, I don't have an assistant, so I'm holding it with my legs down here, so you kind of Slide it over the end of your muffler, get this close to where it's supposed to be, and then convince the rest of it to kind of slide under there. So I was pretty sure I'd have to remove the bumper, but it is actually squeezing in there. And then you just kind of slide it in, over, and up. Then there we go. So now I've just got to get the bolts in there. You see this muffler hanger bracket, looks like it, they drilled the hole too low. It should be up a lot higher. I think that's not going to work. So what I'm going to do is just reuse the original bracket. It'll be hanging at a, like an eighth of an inch too low because of the, the steel, but it'll be better than the stock one. Other than that, it's pretty stealth. I like it. All right, there's the finished product. Hangs a little bit lower than the muffler, but not bad. Not bad at all. Oh. Here's a close up look at what I did with the muffler hanger. So I used the stock muffler hanger again because they drilled the wrong, the hole in the wrong place. The hole should have been drilled a little higher up. I suppose I could have gone in there and drilled a hole, but I, it's pretty hard to drill through this stuff because it's so thick. And that I believe will keep it hanging.